Hello everyone. So today is to talk about DC Nation. So for everyone who doesn't know, DC Nation was a one hour block that combated against Disney XD's Disney XD's Marvel Universe. And it was it was going pretty good actually. It was kinda doing pretty good. They first came out with Young Justice and Green Lantern animated series. Both good shows, but they both got canceled. Someone was like, the reason why they got canceled is because the network was most likely sponsored some toy company, and a toy company wanted to sell some action figures. The action figures didn't sell very well. And because of that, they basically said, oh, screw it, and they canceled. It's either that or it's just the thing that I knew, I heard about, was just the fact of they actually had the wrong demographic watching and they wanted actual kids watching it and not adults and teenagers. And because of that, they canceled it. After that, they basically brought Beware the Batman and Teen Titans Go, which we know which ones still survive, don't we? <clears throat> so... When I first saw DC Nation, I thought that this would actually be something that could help. The fact that they actually would maybe expand it, make it actually a four hour block or something. But of course they couldn't do it prior to because guess who have all the DC series under wraps? Disney does. Disney XDs actually has the Batman animated series, Batman Superman. They used to have Batman Beyond, but I think someone else has it. I think Hub had it at one time, too. So, it's kind of weird how it's going on. But anyways, yeah. I do have to say, Young Justice was a good show. Green Lantern Animated was a good show. And Beware the Batman, even though so many people were like, Oh my gosh, this show sucks, it's crap. Batman, Beware the Batman actually was a very good series. It's sad that they stopped it from even Toonami showing it. Because Toonami was showing it and apparently something, I don't know, maybe they just got sick of watching it and they were like, oh, put it on a marathon for the last seven episodes and we're just going to go by, say goodbye to it. Even Comcast actually... They didn't even allow all seven episodes to be on Comcast. They just straight up dropped it. I mean, Xfinity just straight up dropped it, which was very, very sad. So, what they could have done. I think technically if they really were smart about it and they were able to take risks, they could actually have made DC Nation very, very good. Because there's so many people who actually like Young Justice, who actually liked Green Lantern animated series, and even liked Beware the Batman. And the crazy part is just that if it was the toy issue, they should have done what they should have basically done what. <clears throat> Ben, uh, Bandai slash Saban did, which is they made a legacy, and they made a me legacy toy line, and they made a regular toy line. That's what they should have did. They should have made a collector's toy line, and they should have made a kids' toy line. And if they did, it actually would have helped combat something. And of course, you know. I mean, it would have been a smart idea if they would have just did that instead of just being like, okay, all toys cheap as hell. We put it for kids to buy, even though they're cheap as hell, and we want $9, $7, $8 on it, even though those most likely would have went for $5. <laughs> I'm sorry, but it's true. The detailing and stuff on those, most likely $5. I don't even think Team Titan Go even has a toy line at all and if they did then they basically can do what Fitcher Price did with the Marvel line and you know it's like they can make but loads of money off of very cheap things that don't even have articulation 
And it's just very sad to actually have them just straight up taking it and throwing it. I will say one thing is that Symbiotic Titan, even though that isn't a DC show, that got treated very, very badly. General Rex actually got treated badly because they rushed the ending. They made them straight up rush the ending. And I didn't even get to see all the episodes. They straight up rushed that whole entire series. Heck, I think even Yu-Gi-Oh! GT might have got a bit abused. Yeah, there's so many TV shows that actually, they abused them. And yeah, I mean, they really are good shows. But yet they didn't treat them fairly, didn't treat them right. I just, of course, I heard about Blue the Batman being put out on DVD. And I would like to say a big shame on you on DC Entertainment for the previous video they put up. Because the previous video actually said 227. I know that's the title of the video, but it gave you an exclusive sneak peek or extended clip of something. And I thought they actually. I thought that was actually a new episode. I thought that act, they actually continued on with what they were doing. They actually gave it a chance, a better chance. But no, not really. So, DC Nation, as I know it, is dead for now. It's actually dead. I do have to say one thing about Cartoon Network is they don't really know how to run things anymore or at least not run things but at least don't know good from bad I think they're also having an identity crisis as well I mean yes they're trying to change their image but it seems more like they're having an identity crisis more than anything and ever since 2009 I kind of suspected they should actually now have two channels Given that they actually will have, they do have Boomerang, I mean, they should actually have an actual new channel, an extra channel, because notice that they were trying to do shows with real people on them. Why not make a new channel called Seeing Real, where you could actually do that? Heck, maybe Seeing Real could actually house Steven Universe and Uncle Grandpa. Yeah, all the lame shows that truly should get canceled, but yet you don't. Or they could just do the fact of they try it for a year, put every single one that they want to try out, including Incredible Crew. I think Incredible Crew actually would have been in CN Real as well. Yeah, try that for a year, and if they couldn't do that, then I say try to do like a retro. Unlike Boomerang, it'll actually be like something like have the same, yeah, like so the previous setup they had, like for instance, they had those emojis or those guys, the guys that ran around and they are able to change color or anything and scheme, color scheme and everything. Maybe they could actually have like one where it mirrors back to what they looked like previously and have all the previous shows on there, even though maybe some of them didn't work. But I think it'll be nice for all of, uh, all of us who actually liked Cartoon Network until they started to be like Madonna. No offense. No offense to Madonna, but seriously. They keep changing, and now they have this campaign of you seeing what I'm saying thing, and it's kind of like, ugh. It really is kind of a head turner. But anyways, I'm going to just close it out with DC Nation. DC Nation basically is dead. Sadly, they're not going to try to continue on with it. It looks like Ben 10 might actually be canceled as well. It's either that or they're waiting for one extra year or some months or next year to get started again. So it's... I don't really know what's... Cartoon Network's problem at all. But I'll keep you posted if I find anything, and thank you for listening. I'm webbing out. Peace.